Hi, I am attorney Marie Chris Batan Lasco. This is my virtual classroom. Welcome to my YouTube channel. In this channel, I shall aim to simplify the law. I shall discuss concepts and principles of law in under 10 minutes. Hello again everyone, welcome to my virtual classroom. So for this video, I want us to talk about how to create a corporation. So if you want to create a corporation with your friends or even with your other family members, how do you go about it? So let's begin. There are three steps in forming a corporation. First, promotion. Second, incorporation. And third is the formal organization and commencement of the business. The first step in the creation of a corporation, promotion, involves people who we call as promoters. The promoters bring together who may form the corporation. They would now try to meet people who would be interested in becoming an incorporator of a corporation. Now remember that the first step, promotion, you can actually do away with it, meaning you can skip that and your incorporators can actually just decide among themselves to incorporate, to form the corporation. They may actually do away with hiring promoters if they have actually already decided that they want to form the corporation, which leads us to the second step of creating a corporation, and that is incorporation. Your incorporation now is actually what is covered by Section 10 of your revised corporation code. Now, what is incorporation? Incorporation actually refers to the process of drafting documents, of getting certifications that bring about the existence of the corporation. The, incor the incorporation being a process, it also involves several steps. What are these steps? The first step of incorporation is the drafting and execution of the Articles of Incorporation by the incorporators. Again, who are these incorporators? They are the original formers of the corporation. These are the people who want to form the corporation. So they now draft and execute the Articles of Incorporation. Now, the Articles of Incorporation, in fact, there is already a prescribed form for that. And that's actually available online. You just go to the SEC or Securities and Exchange Commission website and you can just fill it out. Or you can actually make your own. But you have to follow the prescribed form. Where do you find the prescribed form? You can find the prescribed form actually under Section 14 of your Revised Corporation Code. Included in the first step would also be gathering other required documents for registration. Now, what other documents would we be referring to? So, for example, for corporations that are governed by special laws, like your educational corporations, they would need a... Uh, a recommendation from the appropriate agency. So from the Department of Education. So there must be a, a recommendation, a favorable recommendation from the Department of Education. And this shall be submitted to your Securities and Exchange Commission together with your Articles of Incorporation. So that is actually your second step. After you have drafted your Articles of Incorporation, you have executed the Articles of Incorporation, you have also all the other necessary documents, just like what we have mentioned earlier on, just like an educational corporation, you then file it with a Securities and Exchange Commission. So that is the second step, filing now 
the Articles of Incorporation together with the other necessary documents. Now, the third step. Upon registering, of course, you have to pay the required fees. You know, pay the registration, the incorporation, and other fees as may be assessed to you by your Securities and Exchange Commission. After that, you will have to wait. What do you wait for? That is now the final step of incorporation. You will now have to wait for the Securities and Exchange Commission to issue you the Certificate of Incorporation. Of course, before your SEC or your Securities and Exchange Commission will issue you the Certificate of Incorporation, of course, they will have to go over the requirements that you have submitted. You have to make sure that you have complied with all the requirements for the incorporation. Remember, however, that what is required by law is substantial compliance. Not strict compliance of everything, but substantial compliance. Why do I say that what is required is merely substantial compliance, we can actually find that under Section 13 of your Revised Corporation Code where it says there that the incorporators must file with the Securities and Exchange Commission their Articles of Incorporation containing substantially all the matters that are enumerated under Section 13. So the law requires only substantial compliance. It is the issuance of the Certificate of Incorporation that now brings to existence the corporation. Remember that the term incorporation is different from corporation. They are not the same. As I've mentioned earlier, Incorporation refers to the process of creating the corporation. It refers to what you go through to create the corporation. While the corporation is already the juridical person that is being created. What is our legal basis for saying that it is the issuance of the Certificate of Incorporation that brings into existence your corporation, you can actually find that under the third paragraph of Section 18. Let's read the third paragraph of Section 18. It says, A private corporation organized under this code commences its corporate existence and juridical personality from the date the commission issues the Certificate of Incorporation under its official seal, and thereupon the incorporators, the holders, or members, and their successors shall constitute a body corporate under the name stated in the Articles of Incorporation for the period of time mentioned therein, unless that period is extended or the corporation is sooner dissolved in accordance with law. So there you have it. The law under Section 18 of your Revised Corporation Code tells you when you will consider the corporation as already existing, as to when that juridical person has been formed. In other words, that is the birth of your corporation, the issuance of the Certificate of Incorporation by the Securities and Exchange Commission, which is actually your last step in your incorporation. Of course, after the corporation is now formed, then there is now the final step of the creation of the, cor of the corporation. And that is the formal organization now and the commencement of business operations. So, of course, your, your um, corporation now, the stockholders can now elect who the board of directors are, they can now commence the business.
And so there's now the creation of your corporation. So again, just a very quick recap. What are the stages of creating a corporation? You have number one, promotion. Number two, incorporation to which we have also discussed the steps of incorporation and lastly the organization and the commencement of the business operations so that is it for this video i hope you now have learned the steps of creating a corporation the steps of incorporation i hope you have learned from this video and i'll see you in the next I hope you have learned something from this video. If you have, please click like, subscribe, and that notification bell so that you will be notified of new video uploads. Thank you for watching. See you next time in MBL Classroom.